Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, another exciting episode of GG. Uh, today, obviously, we're going to be talking about GameStop and the ridiculousness I guess that they've been doing. I brought back Eats, my buddy Albert again, so we can really discuss this. So, obviously, we know what just happened recently because the coronavirus happened. Uh, you know, a version of SARS. I have him here regardless, not six feet away. But, so, we have, insurance, we have insurance, right? In if we have insurance, yeah, but then don't worry about the insurance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, so GameStop tried to say that they're an essential business. Well, they're obviously not. They tried to stay open as long as possible. And then, after they basically get shut down, they have one worker, they got nobody working, doing their, you know, trying to get their yeah. income. They're trying to get to the front of the line in every state, I guess, I'm assuming, so that as yeah. soon as everything reopens, mm -hmm. They're the first in line, and hey, we're essential, and this and that. Yeah. I, you know what? <laughs> it, it just astounds me at what people will do to, to make money rather than actually care for people. You know what I mean? Uh, no, you, you, you do. Yeah, yeah I, I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a book I read by a guy called Simon Sinek, and that's what he did. There, he talks about this businessman who went to other businesses, yeah. and he found out, he's like, what's the first thing they're doing wrong? And the guy who's leading the business, the managers, the CEOs, all that, were like, Profits are more important than people. So, like we've talked about um, in other times, that they'll cut, after the people make a game, mm -hmm. they'll cut everybody because they don't want anybody else in the game, and then they can get all that profit. And then, oh, we got to start a new game, so we'll hire people and then fire them again. So, it's like attempts. Yeah, for real. But he he talks about if you treat your people better, you yeah. will get better work. Oh, GameStop is that. literally doing the opposite of that, and they're just like, dude, I don't care as long as we can make money. We're essential, but you're really not. I think it's also because they're like, you know, kids that are just like, you know, just turned 18, you know, and getting a job for the first time, just like, ah, eh, they'll, they'll heal. Yeah, you know, I think I think parents are going a little insane though, considering yeah. the fact that, oh, I got my kid here, I need him to play video games because I literally can't stand him anymore. There's no <laughs> school. Shut him up, like, for just Seriously. an hour. Like, get him out of my face. Oh my god. But it's just, Ugh. it's, it's, <laughs> it's just so true. <laughs> but then, I mean, yeah. kids get beaten out these days. You're like, either I beat you senseless, or I let you play video games. And, you know, for I'm all, yeah, <laughs> video games it is. I don't, I obviously can't go to jail. So, no, I'm, I'm in the same boat. Like, I'm in yeah. this house, so I'm just, I'm, I need to get out and do other yeah. things. I can't go for a drive, but that's all I can really do. Yeah. So. so you're in your own little bubble, technically, yeah. your car bubble. But see, I can accept Center that. of your home. Extension, but I can accept it though, you know, because it's just it's what I have to do. Yeah. GameStop is literally putting their people at the bottom and saying like, we don't really care. I want you to work. Yeah. We're going to keep everyone we can as long as we can. Mm -hmm. And in lieu of this, this basically pandemic that we've been having, uh, they don't really care. And they're just like, let's just get everybody out. And if they get sick, we obviously can hire someone else yeah. or just put someone else on that ship and just keep pushing product. Oh, yeah. Especially, like, if you work inside of a mall, which is an enclosed oh, area. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe, maybe if it's, like, one of those, like, uh, strip malls where uh, they can just bring stuff out to you. Yeah. But you can't really do that with a mall. You have to literally go inside. Yeah, it's, you, I mean, you make a good point. Yeah. They don't even care. Like, the social distancing has to be done, and then yeah. they're like, no, we work in a mall. And there's a game, how many, GameStop is in every mall. Yeah, like that's, that's a petri that's, dish. Maybe. Yeah, even though they've been losing money for yeah. years, they're in every mall. And it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's insane. It is insane. It's, it's pretty, insane. it's asinine to think that, that you would ever do that. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, a cat just <laughs> literally <laughs> bolted past it. No! It's a, literally a catapult. That cat was over there, and then now. It's not even three in the morning. What the hell? Yeah. But no, but yeah, it's, <laughs> I, I, now I lost my train of thought. But uh, it's um, it, it, it's asthma. Like I said yeah. the fact that you would you would put your own workers in danger just so you can make a couple extra dollars. Yeah. Like it's really bad to see that a lot of companies, and GameStop is like one of the worst ones. They're up there with EA. Yeah. To just treat their people so badly. Yeah. I think that's what the zombies do. It's like they need to like, uh, what are those games where the main character has like a suit that's a full on like respirator and like that, a video game? Yeah. They're like, they're like, hey, you're going to be safe, you're going to wear like a video game character suit that's like got a face mask, full on quarantine. 
That'd be kind of funny. I, I would say, like, you assume some guy that's like video game character walk out to you in your video game and be like, that's pretty cool. That would be cool. That'd be pretty cool. But then obviously they're just asking, how are we making money? How are we going to get that? They're going to get that that suit, uh, you know, stiff neck guys, where they're oh, asking. Yeah. And I, they ruin it somehow. Because GameStop used to be a nice place. You used, used to, to walk into so a GameStop. Much. Hey, man, what do you need? Here's uh, your game. Have a nice day. Yeah, it was so nice. I yeah. missed that. Mm. I even saw there was a video a long time ago. It was uh, some guy, I can't remember his name right now. He he worked for uh, Machinima, and he made fun of it. He called it Game Shop. And the guy came in there, and he basically just insulted the customer, trying to push all this random product, even though he doesn't make commission. And he's just like, dude, I just want to come in, buy a game, and leave. And then leave. That's literally yeah. all I want to do. This place used to be great. Yeah. And as a kid, when I used to see that, I loved it. It was, like, awesome. And then I go in there, and everybody would help me. And I still get help from people here and there, but I don't need extended warranties. I don't need, oh, hey, no, no. you want to buy this with that? Do you yeah. want to buy this? I'm like, dude, if I want to get hassled, I'll go buy a car because I have nowhere else to buy, like, <laughs> like an actual car. Like, I have to go to a dealership unless I get, like, a used car that I don't know what I'm getting. It's the truth. It's it's the truth. It's That's it's the right. absolute truth. They're like, the, instead of a company selling their cars directly yeah. to the people, they have to go through certain customs and courtesies to get it to where it needs to be, and then you have to get it from the sales. Yeah. And I don't want that. I want to go to GameStop. Get my game. Hey, if I have a question, I'll ask you this and this. Or if they say, "Hey, do you have any questions?" Yeah. But that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, you just. Oh. And it's like GameStop has become the the third party. It's like the middleman. Because now you can buy most of your stuff online. Digital, yeah. 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 So the, it's, that's what I'm saying. They're trying to fight an essential business tactic, but yeah. you can't buy online. And I had to go buy Resident Evil a couple weeks ago, or whatever, mm -hmm. in person because I don't want to wait. I don't want digital. I like. Like my shelf. Yeah. And, but and it's nice. But it, I was like, I couldn't go in. I'm calling the guys. Like, hey man, can I just order? Yeah, okay, sure. You got to order online. I was like, all right, it's not working. What can I do now? He's like, all right, just come here. Give me your credit card. I'll give it to you. Boop. And that guy was super cool about it. But it's just because he's like, he didn't want to touch me. So I was like, okay, that's fine. It's understandable. That's totally understandable. But uh, yeah. like, don't touch me. but I just don't feel that. Bad mama. Yeah, bad mama. <laughs> <laughs> bad mama. I love that. Movie. <laughs> It's so good. But I don't feel like GameStop should even consider themselves an essential business. I understand it's oh, a no. business, yeah. but that's, that's a terrible business tactic to, to treat people like that. It's literally, oh, no. the, the video game industry as a whole is really, really, really screwing their people over. Yeah. If you work for them, like I said, they'll just cut you. Yeah, exactly. For, and then they're like, oh, it's time to make another game. <clears throat> Excuse me. They'll just hire you right back. And yeah, that's horrible. And that's what GameStop does with these people. If you don't, you, so like I said, they don't make commission. But if they don't sell that product on top of whatever else, would you like this? Would you like this? They'll fire it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like, shouldn't your product be good enough? It should be, right? Or at least if you just it, yeah. practiced treating your customers better, treating your employees better so that they treat the customers better, you won't have that issue. Perfect example, Chick-fil-A. Oh, so true. Have you ever had bad service from Chick-fil-A? Oh, hell no. Of course not, because yeah. if you treated him improperly, you're fired. You're fired. You have yeah. to treat people with respect and dignity. Oh, yeah. I, I love that. Yeah. That it's, is that is so much better. It's the, it's the only place I could go. Honestly, yeah. it's fast food where better. everybody's like, let me help you. Yeah. I've they're seen just people just nuts. walk around and they're like, hey, yeah. do you need any extra sauce or anything? Yeah. Sure. And they just come out and give it to you. <laughs> Imagine the response you would get if GameStop or EA or anyone did something like it's like, hey man, we know we're, we're screwing you and we're trying to be nice and we'll get back to this. We're going to change our policy and, oh, God, yeah. and actually get that. And they admit it and they know they're screwing they're you over. Never, they're never going to admit it. <laughs> if they admit it, that'd be great. I would really enjoy yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. But you'd think that like uh, at this point in time, they would have some sort of tactic, you know, to, to, <laughs> to, to make things, um, like to sell. Instead of just having the normal everyday go in a store, pick up your stuff and Leave, like no. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but no. Anyway, yeah. to go and change your tactics. Yeah, they, they need to change your tactics. It's not, you know, these companies, especially like GameStop right now, they're they're like kind of dinosaurs a little bit. Wow, I, I like mean, that. Yeah, they're, they're All right. super. Yeah, but I think they need to. Um, you know, obviously, like video. If you buy a video game, you know, it's either you wait. To get a digital, or you buy it, uh, you know, from a store, uh, and you and you have it. 
uh, and you have like a hand, like you're, you're, you get to see it and, and, and hold on to it and everything like that. But now video games are, are so complex now where you put the disc in, you still have to download, you have to wait like two hours, three hours. It is a coin. To download, right? Yeah. So what do they do? And when one uh, of these companies do something like that, you know, uh, and now they've, they own uh, this game or this website, um, thinkgeek.com, they yeah. sell their mer merchandise, right? Yeah. Uh, and it, it's just so crazy that, uh, so you go there for a video game, and, um, and it's not, it's just not the same. I, I really wish it was for the fact that you go in there, you can say, hey, I want to play this game, and you can literally play like a demo of that game. Yeah. You know, and they just trying to chill and hang out. I mean, honestly, I think that, uh, especially with this pandemic going on, like, we gotta figure out a way. We gotta figure out, we gotta like, think about people, um, get some, you know, make a statement of how safe they are. If they want to get back out there, make a statement, you know? Yeah. Be like, we're, we're not going to be, we care for our people, but it's the exact opposite, man. They just treat their people like shit. Yeah. yeah. Maximize profits. Everything else doesn't matter. And then throw it away. Yeah. yeah. And I hate it. Ugh. So. It's like, come on, people. Like, I know that we got to make money. But, yeah. At the end of the day, people are more important than money. Yeah. Exactly. One hundred and ten percent. Exactly. If you treat them right, they will always come back. Mm -hmm. Like if you have actual really good customer rewards, which mm -hmm. I have to buy like thousands of dollars worth of games and stuff there to get like any kind of to rewards get back. back. Yeah. It sucks, man. So but you do make a, a, a good point, though. Yeah. So I, I really like that. But. Yeah. And then now, do you, all right. Do you know anything about the exchange policy for no. video games? So like, you you buy a game that's like sixty bucks, right? You exchange it. Uh, you turn it in, you're like, I'm done playing this game, i played it long enough, um, and I would like to exchange it for another game. I think you get like five bucks. Oh yeah, that's what, yeah. <clears throat> 60 bucks. So that's why you should always shop local. There's nowhere here, out here for it, mm -hmm. but if you go to an actual store, the exchange rate is a lot higher. Mm -hmm. So like a place I used to go to was J Street Games, um, Game Core, stuff like that. And I'm like, alright, so it's a brand new game, we'll give you like 45 bucks for it. I'm like, dude, okay, that's yeah. actually worth my time. Yeah. I'll go there, and then they'll sell it for like 55. So they make a little bit of profit, mm -hmm. but they're not like trying to like just screw you over. And it's really nice. Like out here, there's a place called Book Off, but that's pretty much it. They do give me radically just wrong prices. So there was a game, I was like, hey man, I saw this game. It didn't have a manual, but it was in case of Sega Genesis game. And then I was like, hey man, you guys don't have that on the shelf yet. You're gonna price it. Hey, can I see if you can price it real quick? He's like, yeah, it'd be like 45, 50 bucks. The game was worth $20 complete. And I was like, I'm not buying it. Really, dude? Oh, you really gonna go. do that to me right now? Yeah. I came back a week and a half later. They put it up on the shelf for like 10 bucks. I was like, bloop, bloop. You tried to see? I was like, you're literally trying to screw me? I was you like, I'm not easy. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I, 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 so good, I hope that GameStop, if they get a new CEO, they can change things and then forward and show that this right now is a perfect example of what not to do even in a crisis situation unless you have to give their employees a follow suit yes that would be that would be cool. cool that would be cool I, I oh shit <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't expecting this apparently i'm about to step in some radiation no. but once again albert it's always fun having you here man i like having your energy man it's always yeah, it's fun, fun. <laughs> yeah. that's it that's it for today's episode guys um we'll catch you next time Peace out.